Hey, what's up? I hope you all are having a great day. Got my cup of coffee, so it is a good day. These are a bunch of school intercom speakers from Kenosha here. We actually had an elementary school shut down. It was Bain Elementary in 2005, I believe. They actually demolished the school, so nothing is left. These came from a local guy here in town who tears down buildings for a living for the city. We exchanged our telephone numbers and he remembered me and called me and told me he had these speakers. He didn't know what to do with them, so he sold them to me for 10 bucks a piece. He said he did find one more for 13, but I haven't contacted him to get it. A little information about Bain. Bain was built in 1906 for $32,000. It opened in 1907. It was the sixth elementary school in the city. It had a few additions in its lifespan, the last one being in 1953. These speakers are from Webster Electric, but they also have Web Argos products branded on the inside, but just on the boxes. The wiring diagram and the electronical stuffs has Webster Electric could not find too much information about Argos, so I think they just made the box as Argos was known for having a sturdier design and this type of woven fabric or whatever. Let's take one of these speakers out and see how they look before we test them out. I'm curious to see how these are all going to sound together. These are 45 ohm speakers, and I have them all hooked up together, bringing the ohmage down to 3.75. I'm using a 80 watt commercial amplifier to power these things, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Here we have the speaker. Every single one of them has been sun faded as they just sat up on the wall. They have a very nice warm tone which I hope you guys can hear. But the cones are all in perfect shape. A few of them had a few stress fractures around the edge which I'm assuming just happened over time. The speakers are made by... Oxford 465 is the Oxford brand and they were built in 1954 the brand of the speaker is a 8FO-6 I think that's the Webster Electric Company part number as WEC stands for that Here's a little bit of information on that which is what I was talking about just turn it the right way but it shows the diagram of how to hook up the intercom system. These are 25 volt speakers, but I don't use the transformer. These were two-way speakers. You could actually talk back and forth. Right there is where it says Argos Products Coal. One last look at the speaker before I put it back in and we hook it up. It has a felt dust cap. No wizard cone. They say move pretty easy, but I'm not gonna push on it as the cone is pretty dry. There's your 25 watt or volt transformer. And there's a look at the speaker leads. Let's hook these up. Not bad. This is the amp I'm using right here. Oops. Almost tripped over the cord. It is made by Paso 
Although Muzak put a cheap sticker over it thinking that we're not going to figure out who made it. But this is the 80 watt amplifier and it's just using one speaker output and uh, driving every single speaker. I'm not using the volt transformers at all as the 45 ohms divided by 12 brings the ohmage about uh, 4. A little bit less than that which this amp can handle. Let me switch the music so I don't get flagged for uh, copyright. Hopefully it doesn't happen. But first a little 90s. Still give it a little bit of volume and more bass. Bass and treble all the way up. Let's give it some volume. Oops, wrong one. It's about halfway, let's see. Wow, that's some serious bass. I can't believe it from these 50 speakers. Damn, that is some serious bass. Holy crap. Bass is even more in the back. I don't know if you can pick up the difference. Let's take that one out again and see how it looks actually moving. Give me a second to get it out. They all have good sound from the 50s, although they got a bad rap in the 60s called Ox Farts. <laughs>
warm vintage tone. The treble seems to lack a little bit, but other than that, nice and bassy. They're probably about five, maybe eight watts, but they are 45 ohm speakers. <laughs> 